the aim of this experiment to draw the characteristic curve of zener diode and to determine its reverse breakdown voltage the apparatus used in this experiment are a zener diode characteristic apparatus and connecting wires A zener diode is represented in this way in circuit and in the real world it looks like this a white line on one end indicates that it is the negative terminal a zener diode is a normal junction diode which is heavily doped when compared to the normal diode usually it is used in the reverse breakdown region here you can see that zener diode has more charge carrier when compared to the junction diode Let us connect the zener diode in the reverse bias. So far, we are talking about majority charge carriers. Now, let us see the minority charge carriers. There is an extremely small concentration of electrons in P type and holes in N type, which are thermally generated charge carriers. As you apply the voltage the concentration of the minority charge carriers increases due to the movement of electron from valence band to conduction band these free charge carriers are attracted away as the charges do not cross the junction due to the potential barrier and therefore no current flows through the circuit by increasing the voltage further the concentration of the minority charge carriers increases and they move towards the junction and cross it as a result a small current flows through the junction as you increase the voltage further at a certain voltage the electrons move with high speed and collide with the crystal ions this creates more electron hole pairs this process occurs continuously due to which we have extremely large amount of charge carriers it is known as avalanche multiplication this reverse bias voltage is also known as zener breakdown voltage now to study the characteristics we connect the zener diode as per the circuit diagram then we gradually increase the input voltage and observe the changes in the input current and output voltage initially small amount of input current flows and then it increases suddenly at zener breakdown voltage however the output voltage remains constant
The least count of the voltmeter V1 is 0.5 volts. The zero error of the voltmeter V1 is nil. The least count of the milliammeter is 0.5 milliamperes. The zero error of the milliammeter is nil. The least count of the voltmeter V2 is 0.2 volts. The zero error of the voltmeter V2 is nil. Table for input voltage V1, input current I1 and 
output voltage V0, input voltage V1. When input voltage V1 is increased by 1 volt every time until the output voltage V0 reaches 6 volts. Similarly, when the input voltage is further increased by 0.5 volts, we observe that the input current I1 increases, but the output voltage V0 remains constant at 6.4 volts. This is called the breakdown voltage of the Z0 diode. If we again try to increase the input voltage, the current increases by large amount, but the output voltage V0 remains constant. Now, we plot a graph by taking output voltage values on x-axis and the current values on the y-axis. Since the diode is connected in the reverse bias, V0 and I1 are taken on the negative x and y-axis. On x-axis, 1 cm is equal to 1 volt. On y-axis, 1 cm is equal to 4 mA. Now, we plot the points on the graph. At a particular point in the graph, we observe that the output voltage remains constant while the current increases by large amount. This voltage which remains constant is called as the reverse breakdown voltage and it is 6.4 volts from the graph. Thus, this graph clearly shows the IV characteristics of the Zeno diode.